Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is a autumn night routine. I haven't done one of these videos in a long time, so I thought I'd come back at you guys again and do another one. So this is pretty much my daily evening routine throughout autumn. So the first thing I do when I walk through the door is of course greet my cat Sky. You guys probably already know her from the vlogs over on my second channel, but she is literally such a sweetheart. So once I say hi to Sky, I then head over to my coat rack and I basically just take off my coat, my bag, my hat, and also my my shoes and just pop all of that away. Once I've done that, I then pop on my really cute slippers from Primark. You guys probably have seen these in my haul and they're actually adorable. I then head straight into my living room and turn on the TV as you do. And I'm actually currently re-watching Riverdale from the beginning because I love the show so much. Do you guys watch it as well? I always love re-watching shows in the background. So whether I'm working or just generally chilling, I love to always have some kind of sound in the background so I don't feel like I'm alone in the house. I then head over to all of my fairy lights on my kind of like display area and I love to just turn all of the lights on in my house because it makes me feel so cozy and like autumnal. Once I've done all that, I then also like to tidy up a little bit as like the first thing before I get to relax. So I'm just hoovering with my Dyson Hoover, which is by the way, amazing. This Hoover is literally so lightweight, I'm telling you guys, that I actually enjoy hoovering now, which I never used to. Once I've tidied up the living room a little bit, I then head over to my laptop and just check my emails, do some work, some editing also. I like to use a Final Cut Pro to edit with for anyone who's wondering. I find it really easy to use. So as you can see, I'm just editing my head tutorial video here. Now that I've done my work, all I can think about is just getting into cozy PJs and just wiping all of my makeup off. I don't really wear makeup every single day, but when I do and I get home, I literally take it off straight away. So the first thing I'll do is I'll put my hair up into a ponytail to get it out of my face. And then I will take some simple cleansing wipes and just basically wipe off the first layer of my makeup. This is just the first step to kind of get rid of all of the foundation and eyeliner and mascara and that kind of thing. But to really cleanse my skin, Skin. I've recently started using the Vanity Planet Ultimate Skin Spa Face Brush. I've seen a few brushes like this on the market, but this one's different because it comes with three different heads. The silicone brush that resists bacteria buildup, the exfoliating brush which gets rid of dead skin, and also the daily cleansing brush which I'll be using today. So I'm going to be using the Nivea Exfoliating Scrub on top of the brush which I'm then just going to wet with some water. And I love the fact that this comes with a silicone head too because it really resists bacteria. It makes it really hygienic to use and being silicone, it makes it really super durable. I think it's really important to look after your skin always, especially in the colder seasons of the year, as my skin can get kind of dry and oily at the same time. So this brush just really gets rid of the excess oil that causes clogged pores and it also prevents future breakouts. So it's super handy to have. Vanity Planet are actually super generous and they've actually offered you guys 70% off of this product. It's originally $125, but you can now get it for only $39, which is such a good save. So yeah, I'll link it down below so you guys can check that out and pick one up yourself if you want to. So as you can see, I have taken so much dirt and muck off of my face with this brush and you can then just rinse it under some hot water and it's like brand new. I'm then gonna hop in the shower. So I'm just gonna run the shower first to kind of heat up the water a little bit. And for the shower recently, I've been loving using the vanilla pumpkin shower gel from the body shop. It smells so good. After my shower, I then hop into some PJs. I love being cozy. So I have these PJs from Primark, which are so adorable. They've got Fumper and they're Disney, which I love. So then I'm just gonna pop on some moisturizer on my skin just to really finish off my skincare routine. So the one I'm using is the Vichy Mineral 89. I love this little little moisturizer. It's really cool. Like it has a really cool consistency and it just refreshes my skin so much every time I apply it. And then for my hair, I'm going to be using this hair oil from Wella and I'm just popping that over my hands. And then I'm just kind of running my fingers through my ponytail just to really kind of moisturize the dead ends. My hair gets so dry in the autumn. I'm telling you guys. I then head back downstairs and I pop on some candles because no autumn routine would be complete without some candles. So I have this one from Bath and Body Works, which I love. This 
this smells so good and then I decided to make myself some hot chocolate I don't have a hot chocolate every night that would be so unhealthy but this evening I thought I would treat myself the hot chocolate that I use is the one from Galaxy it's so good literally you need like three teaspoons of this and pop some hot water in you don't even need milk and it tastes so good I'm then just gonna take some whipped cream and top my hot chocolate off with this I've recently bought these really cool stencils for hot chocolates and coffees from eBay so I'm just using one of the stencils I'm using one of those today for the first time so please excuse how this turns out but I'm just popping some hot cocoa powder over the stencil and once you take off the stencil it should leave you with a really cool design on your hot chocolate which definitely makes you look like a pro from Starbucks Obviously my hot chocolate couldn't have gone to waste so I had to take some selfies just to show off my masterpiece. <laughs> Then for the next few hours, I basically just watch TV. I'm on my laptop. I'm actually moving house. So I'm doing some furniture shopping for my office. I decided to buy a desk from this website called made.com. I actually love the stuff on there and it's actually quite affordable. So I decided to order a desk for when I move. After a few hours of online shopping, I basically go into the kitchen and make myself a really super healthy and easy dinner. I just decided to go for some noodles and some veg. And I've been using these blue dragon sauces for such a long time. They're literally so good. And then I just eat my dinner in front of the TV watching Stranger Things season two. Do you guys like it? I kind of prefer season one, but I haven't really watched that much of it to kind of judge it yet. But let me know what you guys are watching on Netflix at the moment. I then head upstairs and just brush my teeth before I get into bed. And I would love to let you know that I literally go straight into bed, but I really don't. I'm like everyone else. I go on my phone before I go to bed, which is so bad. I always use my time in bed before I fall asleep to kind of check social media, reply to you guys and basically I've been loving Instagram lately. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram yet, it's just at Roxaurus. I love replying to your comments and liking and favoriting your stuff. So make sure you head over there and follow me as well. But that is the end of my night routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!